Hello guys, Lenny here, and welcome back to another Wolong Fallen Dynasty Guide. In this one, we're going over the final set of collectibles, the Shitajau Panda Bears. You can find them in the missions, and you must feed them some armor or weapons to get an accessory as a reward. And of course, they're needed for an achievement or trophy. So let's jump to the first one. The first panda is just after the sixth battle flag in Chapter 2, The Valley of the Crying Wraiths. Panda 2 is inside a corner building full of pots and crates in the village during the Demon Fort of the Yellow Heaven. Panda 3 found on the ground in the Flying Swallow of Heishan. Panda 4 next to the 4th battle flag in search of the Immortal Wizard. Panda 5 next to the Changui in Shadow of the Sacred Mountain. Now before we move on to the next one to do in the quest is to start follow the corrupted eunuch and there is a hermit villager in a jail cell at the start of the mission. If you find the jail key you can release him and he will return to the village where the pandas are and he will give you a reward for finding them. But he's not needed to unlock the trophy or achievement though. Panda 6 is on a roof next to the last battle flag in Fall of the Corrupted Eunuch. Panda 7 is in the room on the right with the demon officer in Escape from the Capital. Panda 8, the Battle of the Halligan Pass on the castle walls floor below the battle flag. Panda 9, during Centuries of the Glory Burned Away, next to the second battle flag. Panda 10 is found in the Lost Sacred Artifact in the Canal. Panda 11 during darkness over Han Shui River next to the fourth battle flag. Panda 12 during Tyrant's final request in the jail with the Zuplong. Panda 13 in the bamboo close to the second battle flag in Fate of the Entertainer. Panda 14 head to the right of the fourth battle flag in Wars Flames Blaze Fiercely. Panda 15 is in the sewer in the second section head left and up the ladder in the Uninhibited Heart. Panda 16 next to the third battle flag in the village during the Way of the Warrior. Panda 17 beside the flag and the large statue go up the ladder in Lubu, Mightiest Among Men.
Panda 17 is in the foggy area. Climb the ladder next to the Shangui and cross the bridge. And then you can climb up to the roof of the building with a demonized soldier inside. But don't drop all the way down. Just go into the rafters. And this is during Behold the Glaives of Righteousness. Panda 19 during Assault on Wucheo, before the battle flag, in the same hallway where you fight against Aleshi. Panda 20 at the second battle flag, go left up the ladder and unmoor the boat, continue past and up the ladder and climb to the top of the boat during Let's Make Our Armor Shine. Panda 21 at the last battle flag after the Yuan Shao boss fight you can drop down during the decisive battle of Guandu. Panda 22 from the start of the mission, the heirloom seal of the realm. Open the gate and head left until you fight some warlocks. You can defeat them and climb up the building and go to the other side and walk to the end. Finally, Panda 23 during Let's Make Our Halberd Shine, which is a mission after you complete the final mission, and you'll eventually reach a village, and the panda is found all the way at the end of the village. Get to the very end and you will see some wolves guarding it. Make sure you don't pick up the seal, which is how you complete this mission, as it's found before you actually get to the panda. So guys, there you have it, all 23 panda locations in Wolong Fallen Dynasty. If this guide was useful, leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Uh, I'm overwhelmed with emotion. Here, I have a token of my gratitude. They seem to know what here.